Just back from Pilates and I'm setting up a movie that I've been meaning to watch. Yes, here it is, here it is. Polite Society. It's on Netflix. I've heard good things about it, so I'm gonna watch that. This vlog should be pretty fun because in the middle of this week, uh, we will be heading to Tokyo. I said it in my last vlog, but I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to film because this is 100% a Kurt production. I have made no plans. This will be my maybe seventh or eighth time in Tokyo. It will be Kurt's first. So I've handed him the reins for this one, but that's really what's going on. Uh, welcome to the vlog and let's just have a cute little movie night. So let's watch Polite Society. <laughs> My friend just opened uh, a, in, a vintage shop on Instagram, so I bought some things and I'm gonna show you what I got. Also, the movie was wacky, but I still recommend if you like martial arts movies. <laughs> Here's the label with her precious puff, Mongi. We love him. I think for this, I'm gonna put like a white t-shirt under it, but it's a little, silky yellow fun little apron looking top i might take out the shoulder pads for this one good morning good afternoon good evening little cats i might even bring this to japan actually i love the little sleeves so that's that i even got a note from the tepionim <laughs> all right now i'll see you tomorrow okay Mwah. <laughs> I get to tell you that I actually didn't speak at all while I vlogged. So this is just going to be a little montage of our four days there, our three days there, um, and we just had a really wonderful time and it was so nice to, for the first time in my life, really just kind of be the passenger princess on a trip and just wander around. I really only helped figure out like transportation and stuff like that. Yeah, it was just very relaxing, very chill. Um, we're very thankful that we got to take this trip and I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, very quick check-in. I know I haven't spoken, but this is our second full day. Kurt has been calling all the shots. The weather is perfect. We thought it was gonna be a lot more crowded than it was, but it doesn't feel much different um, considering that it's Lunar New Year. And it's just been fun to kind of explore with eyes that are not mine. So right now we're in the middle of the like food and like kitchen district. I've never been around here before. Overall, it's just been, it's been really fun. So sorry that I haven't checked in, um, but I'll catch you guys later, okay? We are back from Japan. Thank you guys so much for watching, even though I didn't speak. Um, it felt very nice to just kind of record without constantly talking to the camera. Yeah, that was Kurt's version of a Tokyo trip. Had a lot of fun. And before I dive into what we're doing today, I have a Japan haul for you, mini haul. But first, I just wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of this video um, who made our trip to Japan possible, which is Squarespace. As always, Squarespace is a place to host your online presence. I use it for a personal blog. You can use it for things like a community or a shop because they have 
have monetization features, a great analytics section. They have ways to connect your social media accounts as well as adding email lists and comment sections. They also have a bunch of free templates uh, that makes making a website very simple. So right now you can go to squarespace.com and play around with all of those templates and features for free. And then when you are ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. As always, mine is linked down below carrycakes.net if you want to see my Squarespace. So thank you as always. That information will be in the description box. And what did I purchase? Neither of us are really like shoppers when we travel. I know that a lot of people, when they go to Japan, they have very specific things that they like to pick up. Normally I would stop in like Uniqlo or GU just because their jeans are always like for people who are my height. <laughs> but we didn't do any of that. Kurt ended up getting some really beautiful glass cups because he's very interested in that. Uh, but for me, I hit a tea shop. Luckily, Kurt was there to like kind of control me because I did have an empty suitcase. So I could have gone ham, but I didn't. I ended up getting two different canisters. Will it focus? Yes, here we go. This is like traditional washi paper around just your classic tea tin. I have a lot of loose leaf teas and I'm going, I have this one and then I got it in yellow as well and so yeah i have a lot of loose leaf teas that i just kind of forget about they're sort of like my tea cabinet is very disorganized and kind of chaotic so i'm going to use these to put the teas that i want to finish like this season because i have teas that are definitely like more of a winter flavor versus a spring flavor etc so i'm going to put my like more wintry teas in here to try and push myself to finish them like they're very bright colored i will put them at the front of my tea cabinet so i will try to go for these whenever i'm going for a cup of tea so that's what i got they had huge ones too i figured these were just the right size for the amount of loose leaf tea that I buy. So I got this and then I got this apple tea in tea bag form. It's just something ringo. That's all I know. <laughs> I can't read the, the kanji, but yeah, it's just a black tea with a fresh apple flavor. So yay, that's, this is a uh, this is my haul. This is what I bought in Japan and I'm very happy with it. But now I'm actually going to head out and we're going to do some studying. I want to get more into my like proper classes again. I know that I mentioned I'm doing like Canva and graphic design stuff on Skillshare. Um, but right now I'm trying to do more like humanities classes on Coursera. So um, I have a couple that I'm trying to start and I'm gonna make it like a weekly thing instead of usually I will get super into studying and on Coursera you can just like breeze through a class. So I will just like spend two or three hours taking a class and then promptly either forget everything or like I never finish the course. So I'm going to try and come up with a schedule so that I do a little bit every week instead of like exhausting myself. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to start with, I have a linguistics course. I think I only want to start with one right now. That's that. And um, I'll update you on what teas go in here, but let's head out. And thank you as always for being here. I hope that you enjoyed that little Tokyo montage and let's go. <laughs>
from Rainy Sungsu. Um, very quickly, I saw The Holdovers, which made me cry. Very great Christmas movie. I could see myself watching that every Christmas. And yeah, now I'm I'm over here stopping in a couple vintage stores. I wasn't expecting it to rain slash snow as much as it is. So we're gonna make this a quick run. Um, I might stop and read a little bit of my book. Nobody has umbrellas, it's so funny. Like everyone is chaotically running around. Um, yeah, I might stop and read a book, but then I need to go home. I have an unexpected meeting and I think I got a package from a friend that I'm excited to open. So it's gonna be a little bit of a messy Thursday, but um, off we go. <laughs> Package. Oh my, what? Okay, so I have a package from my friend Perry, and I know one thing that's in it, but according to the customs declaration, there's something else. Ooh, you taped this real good, girl. Okay. Good lord. I don't think that's how I was supposed to open it, but <laughs> here we are. This is when you know someone really loves books, is the amount of careful packaging surrounding this precious cargo. They're wrapped so beautifully, what the heck? Here's her packaging. Oh my gosh, it's tied with such beautiful twine. Oh, thank you. So this is from a bookstore that I apparently must visit. What, why is this now my most beautiful book tote? Can you see? Oh my gosh, officially added to my collection of most favorite Totes, thank you. I'm gonna open the big one first because I know what this is. My third copy <laughs> of Once Upon a Broken Heart. However, it's so nice. Oh, it even says my name. Oh, it actually says to Carrie. Oh my gosh, and then which one do I open first? I'll open this one first. Extras from the Once Upon a Broken Heart world. Oh my gosh, this is from the tour they gave out. Um, for the book tour, they gave out I guess the, like the first chapter <gasps> and then these beautiful apple bookmarks did you make these Perry did you <laughs> I am being so spoiled right now okay and then last one this novel was an absolute masterpiece and had me gripped to the page it's a literary fiction novella that slowly unravels a terrible secret of a town wait wait I know what this is I know what this is I think I read this and I I wanted please let it be <gasps> Yes. Okay. I actually read this, Perry, and I wanted a physical copy. This is a dark little book. It is Small Things Like These by Claire Keegan. Right, I read this one, right? Yes. Okay. About a phenomenon that I had no idea existed. We truly share the same mind. Perry, thank you so much this was the best package i could ask for i'm gonna keep um these little pieces as well i'm gonna put this in the book actually okay truly the most spoiled girl on earth oh, book friends are the best 
friends, I've got to say. Um, I am so overwhelmed and thankful. I did not expect that because we talked about this. It was sort of like, oh, send it to me whenever. And whenever was today? Ooh, Perry, thank you so much. And sort of strangely on that note, I'm actually going to end the video here. I have a uh, meeting in very soon that I need to get ready for. And then I'm going to kind of edit this up and start filming for next week. It's going to be a weird rainy week. I don't know what's happening. I think we might be meeting up with Cecil and might be meeting up with another friend. So um, good things on the horizon. I also managed to get like one of the last tickets to see Dune in IMAX. I mean, within like the opening weekend. So yeah, we, we're gonna go see that, which I'm so excited for. Yeah, just overall bright things on the horizon and I will catch you guys later. So thank you as always. Thank you for watching that very different style of Tokyo vlog. And um, yeah, thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this. Information will be down below, but squarespace.com slash carrycakes. You can get 10% off your first website or domain. Highly recommend as always. And yeah, oh, I'm just so tickled. So, okay, I need to go set my life up on the computer and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you always. And uh, let me know what you're up to. Let me know if you have any content you're interested in seeing any neighborhoods you've heard about any new stuff you want me to check out and i'll see you then okay okay bye